Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we are back with the Intel Compute Stick right over there. It's really tiny. A lot of folks are asking about running alternative operating systems on it beyond uh, the version of Ubuntu that they say uh, is the only one that'll work with it. The reality is it actually works with a lot of other installations, including Open Elec, and I just also tested uh, Elementary OS. I'm going to show you both of those. Now before you go into booting an alternative operating system off of here, you have to go over to the configuration screen in the BIOS and make sure that Ubuntu 14.04 uh, is selected because that puts the BIOS in a uh, mode in which it'll be happy to load that up for you. And now what I'm going to do uh, is just uh, F10 and save that. And you have a boot option menu here. And sometimes it goes into uh, Grub a little too quickly. Uh, there's an F10 option that you can press here. I'm just going to keep pushing it until it pops up uh, to give us a couple of different options. Now what I've got hooked up to the uh, compute stick right now is this massive device here that is a lot larger than it is. Uh, and what this is, this is really cool. This is a rocket store dock. It's got ethernet built into the back of it. It's got a card reader, uh, three or four USB ports, and uh, the ability to drop in a SATA hard drive on the top, which is really cool. So the first thing we're going to do uh, is pop up uh, Open Elec, which I installed on this hard drive. And as you can see, we hit F10. We got the boot menu up here, and I can just select that option uh, to load it up. And it does work really, really well. In fact, it works as well as it would on uh, just about any Bay Trail powered device, which means it's going to work pretty darn good. So we're going to let this boot up so you can see how fast it goes. Although we do have an SSD plugged in, we are limited to USB 2.0 bandwidth back to the device. I didn't want to wipe out my Windows partition on the eMMC storage, so I've decided to go off the external here. But once it's loaded, it does work uh, uh, just fine. I tested my Blu-ray files earlier. I also uh, made it uh, able to get uh, working with the HD Home Run thing too. So we're going to go to add-ons here. Uh, we'll go over my HD Home Run Live uh, plug-in, and you can see uh, how nicely it can tune live television on my cable system here. So we have uh, CNN running up here, and I can switch channels to something else if I want. So I can go over to uh, my ABC affiliate here and check that out. All right, now we're going to try a Linux distribution that is not Ubuntu. We're going to look at Elementary OS. I'm going to go over to uh, the USB stick that I have plugged in here. I'm going to hit the... Uh, Enter key there to start loading that process up, and we're getting the grub thing here. What's cool about Elementary OS is that you can run it without installing it, kind of like a live CD uh, situation there. So we'll let this uh, boot up here. We might take a little jump cut as we're waiting for it to load. And here we are at the Elementary OS desktop. This is a really beautiful Linux installation if you are a uh, Mac fan, I guess. It looks a lot like OS X, and uh, even the web browser kind of resembles Safari here, but it seems to be working just fine. Uh, the audio drivers are working, uh, as is, of course, the video drivers, because we're getting the full 1920 by 1080 resolution. Now, the one thing, though, that uh, you're going to run into some trouble with is the wireless drivers. It uses a Realtek uh, wireless chipset for the Bluetooth and uh, the Wi-Fi, and I don't, at least at the moment, have a way of getting that to work on here, unless I can maybe track down the drivers for that particular chipset. So some uh, folks that are maybe a little bit more versed in this kind of stuff can leave some comments below with some resources to uh, try to get those things working because at the moment uh, both Open Elec and this uh, elementary OS installation do not find the wireless or the Bluetooth. So if those things are important, which they might be in a home theater environment, uh, you might need to uh, do some research, maybe uh, kind of tear some things apart software-wise to get it working. But of course you could always uh, just get a compatible uh, USB wireless adapter and pop it in there or something. But of course that does add uh, more, more uh, equipment to uh, what should be a very slim installation. So that's the only issue I see is wireless and Bluetooth, but uh, you can get other operating systems installed and uh, running on here pretty well. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.